Nearly an important part of pre-season training in the last few months. How are the guys tracking at this stage, only if, sort of a month away from games? Yeah, you're right, it is an important part. I suppose in particular the one that we're coming into now, we're about, well, about five weeks away from NAB Cup, so training's certainly starting to change to have an angle towards more play. So I think that's good for footy coaches and players, and you know, it becomes you know, more enjoyable, I suppose, from our point of view. Notice there's been a fair bit of education going on, and a bit more education maybe than what it was early early in the preseason. Is it just about drilling down how you want the guys to play now? Yeah, it is. I think that comes with moving into that phase of more play, and we're starting to talk about structures and and what particular parts of the ground, if you're playing there, really what is expected. The beginning of pre-season, there's there's a lot to do with with the player's body and their strength and conditioning and all those times and weights and you know and how heavy can you lift and, and how fast you can run. So that you know, obviously. Now there's a the bit more of the, the more f traditional footy type stuff. I might just ask you about a few of the guys. Marty Gleeson and Jason Ashby were two last year that we sort of see get a few gains and really develop across that half back line. How are they tracking and where do you see their footy at? Yeah, well both of those boys are tracking really well. They've com completed a, a good chunk of pre-season, both now coming into their third season. So third uh, pre-season, which means they're, they're nearly at 100% volume, you know, which is good for them. But you're quite right, you've identified two players that have had a bit of a taste of AFL footy and both of them are really keen to play as many games as they possibly can. And that, oh, I suppose, they both bring to the development group or to the whole player group, for that matter, a great deal of enthusiasm and energy because once you've had a bit of a taste, that you know they want to be playing all the time. So, you know, those guys are out there trying to put their best foot forward every time they play. I think we spoke about sort of the development group and the importance of them developing this year in terms of how the whole team goes. Last time we spoke, have you been impressed with what you've seen so far? Yeah, look, the the development boys that they're going through, especially you know we've got four first year players and and what they're going through at the moment is very much an understanding of what the AFL environment actually really means and you mentioned before that you know so there's education that takes place and there's strength and conditioning training that takes place and then there's normal footy stuff that takes place and you know they hear from the senior coach in Hurdy and and then you know the first the three of the first year boys in, in Kyle Langford, Jaden Laverde and Jake Long are forward so they get to hear a lot from Nathan Bassett and Connor McKenna's working with the backline group so they get to hear a lot from Matthew Egan so there's a lot going on for them so they're in a steep learning curve but so far they're handling it really well. One of the ones you mentioned there, Jake Long. I know fans are really keen to, to find out how he's going. What, what are your impressions so far? Yeah, he's a, in terms of a, a person, he, he's got a bit of a cheeky grin about him, Longy, and, and he, you can see that I, I think over the years he might develop into the, the bit of a club prankster perhaps, there, there's no doubt, but there is a hard edge to him as well and we can see that through his training. He's a, an interesting one, he obviously hasn't followed the what would now be called the traditional pathway into, into league footy, like he, uh, Longy didn't play TAC Cup football at all, which, which is unusual for someone who, you know, was doing secondary schooling down here. So he's come through the James Hurd Academy. He's played a couple of games for the NT rep sides and he's been injured a lot over the last couple of years. I think he's only played six games of footy for the past two seasons. So it's going to take some time. Uh, but in terms of that, I, you know, I think the whole club have been impressed with his work ethic and his ability to come in and build relationships with the senior players and, uh, and have a bit of fun at the same time. Nearly. It sounds like exciting times at the moment, as it is always at this time of year, so thanks for the update. No worries. Thanks, guys.